In this video, we will hear from Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger vs FTX Samuel Fry Bankman or SBF on investing in crypto. As many of you are aware, Buffett and Munger are against Bitcoin and any crypto coins in general. They have rallied against all of them and have labeled crypto coins as rat poison. Let's listen to them during their 2022 Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. In my life, I try and avoid things that are stupid and evil and make me look bad in comparison with somebody else. And Bitcoin does all three. <laughs> and, and, and the first place, it's stupid because it's very likely to go to zero. The second place, it's evil because it undermines the Federal Reserve System and the national currency system which we desperately need to maintain its integrity and government control and so on. And third, it makes us look foolish compared to the communist leader in China. He was smart enough to ban Bitcoin in China. And with all of our presumed advantages of civilization, we are a lot dumber than the communist leader in China. In fact, as early as 2018, the two partners have told reporters that Bitcoin is worthless. Artificial gold munger told CNBC's Squawk Box, that is not something I think the world needs. The fact that it's clever computer science doesn't mean it should be widely used and that respectable people should encourage other people to speculate on it, he said. Bitcoin reminds me of Oscar Wilde's definition of fox hunting. The pursuit of the uneatable by the unspeakable. And then we have Bill Gates, the Microsoft founder, giving his opinion on crypto technology. And Warren have weighed in on Bitcoin. Do you own any? Uh, somebody gave me some for my birthday. Uh, and then a few years later, I thought, hey, I'm going to sell that. So no. But Bill Gates do believe there is real technology such as blockchain that can provide useful applications in the future. Technology in terms of sharing databases and verifying transactions uh, that is talked about as blockchain, that is a good thing. And in this a Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting, Warren Buffett gave an example of what he would do if someone offered to him all the Bitcoin in the world. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't answer any questions on the subject, but I will. <laughs> if you tell me you own 1% of the apartment houses in the United States, 25 billion or something, I'll write you a check. You know, it's very simple. Now, if you told me you owned all of the Bitcoin in the world, and you offered it to me for $25. I wouldn't take it because what would I do with it? Um, I have to sell it back to you one way or another. I mean, maybe I'd be the same people, but it isn't going to do anything. The apartments are going to produce rental and, and the farms are going to produce food. It appears Mr. Buffett is looking at these two factors at Bitcoin. Something we should all keep in mind. And Munger is not kind with his words, he also stated that Bitcoin is like a turd and trading it is similar to dementia. Now, I'm not as harsh as the two billionaires, but I think there must be regulations before I would start investing. I think there is real technology behind all the coins and someday we will make use of it. But currently, it's in such a wild and unregulated state that scammers and hustlers are all over this space. And this past week has been a major dent in the crypto space, with one of the largest players FTX going bankrupt. Samuel Fried Bankman or SBF was likened to Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger in the crypto world since he was bailing out companies and was considered a lender of last resort. So everyone was floored when there was essentially a run of the bank scenario at FTX and FTX couldn't meet the number of withdrawals. This whole drama deserves another entire video which we might do soon. But let's listen to SBF on a CNBC interview in September 2022 before his company imploded. We only had a few days to make some of these decisions. What we basically came to believe was the following. The first was that, if possible, it would be extremely valuable to the ecosystem to backstop some of these places. First of all, just backstopping customers and making sure they're protected. But second of all, stopping contagion from spreading through the ecosystem, right? Stopping it from being the case that anyone who transitively did business with any chain of people who did business with one of the troubled assets themselves became troubled. This is so ironic that he would talk about rescuing firms that are failing so they don't spread to other firms. He became the biggest firm to fail in the end. And in this next segment, SBF talks about bankruptcy and plugging holes of a company's liquidity that he was going to rescue. This conversation is so crazy because this will be happening to his company in the next two months. I'm just in shock how everything has unfolded and this is just the very beginning. You look at a lot of these cases, 
you know, they have four days before they're going to file bankruptcy. And so we had four days to do all of the diligence we could on the company, learn everything about it, understand the industry, their business, their customers, understand how we thought things were going to unfold, and then make a judgment call and wire money. And SBF leaves us with these chilling words. Little did we know that SBF will cause the crypto ecosystem more pain than anyone else would. Was important for customers and was what was important for people to be able to operate in the ecosystem without being terrified that unknown unknowns were going to blow them up somehow. In the end, Buffett and Munger investment wisdom wins. Every time there are new financial products, we should always try to see the real value of these products. Especially on new exotic products that promises new and exciting fortunes. This is hard for the average investor when you see all the famous celebrities or rich hedge funds piling into the space. It's very tempting to join with them and hopefully ride the wave. But before you do that, say to yourself a couple of things. Number one. Do you really understand the products? Number two. If you lose everything, will you be okay? Number three. Is everyone investing including your friends and family? If this is the case, it's generally a warning sign that things will be going south. I remember Buffett saying, I can't be the victim if I don't play the game. And that's probably the best advice that we should listen to. Sometimes it's better not to play the game and just watch from the sidelines. Well, there you have it. This crypto crash highlights the wisdom of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. Many of the younger generation discounted them when they were criticizing Bitcoin. I wonder how they are feeling now. I hope this video opens up your eyes and until next time, please like and subscribe to this channel for more future videos, and happy investing.